singing, dancing, to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees. They hung their homes with evergreen. They burned beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen, all the long echoes sing the same delight this shortest day, as promise wakens in the sleeping land. They carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends, and hope for peace, and so do we.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Winter Assembly. This is our first Winter Assembly in the SOU Recital Hall, and it's such a wonderful feeling to be in this beautiful space with all of you, so thank you for coming. Uh, we'd like to give a special thanks to SOU, especially Tom Knapp, for letting us be in this space and for helping to coordinate our setup and all of our rehearsals. It's truly changed the feeling of our assemblies, and we can all see, hear, and for the most part fit. It's been an amazing year so far, and it seems like so long ago since the opening day and the first graders officially becoming part of our school, and there have been many highlights from then to now. And of course, one of the biggest highlights was recently we had our winter fair. And on behalf of the faculty, I want to extend our deepest appreciation for all of the parents who helped make that such a wonderful event. And especially, I would like to ask Katie Sloan, wherever she is, to stand and receive a big round of applause. couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. It's a special time of year. The air is getting colder, the days are getting shorter, the nights are getting longer as we approach the winter solstice this Saturday. Mount Ashland might open this weekend. And it feels so special to be gathered with all of you, with the children, the families, with the alumni, with friends, to be warm, to be cozy, to be celebrating the old tradition of sharing song and merriment with one another. It's truly a time to be grateful for all things in life. Tonight is also a special night for millions of people around the world who will be lighting the third candle on their menorah in celebration of Hanukkah, which we will also honor later in the evening. I do have a request that there is no flash photography tonight or pictures from cell phones. We've been really good about that lately and we have a wonderful videographer uh, recording the whole evening and that will be available um, after the winter break. So please refrain from that. Make sure your phones are off and we have a wonderful program for you. The children have been working very, very hard and have prepared musical pieces, poetry and we are so excited to share all of this with you. And without further ado, we're going to welcome class seven and their second grade buddies. Thank you.
on the line, on the line, on the line. Back up on the line, on the line. Get on the line. Tonight's my first night as a washer. And here it is Christmas Eve. The children are sleeping all cozy upstairs. Well, I'm guarding the stockings and trees. What's that now? Footsteps on the rooftop? Could it be a cat or a mouse? Who's this down the chimney? A thief with a beard and a big sack for robbing the house? I'm barking, I'm prowling, I'm biting his bum. He howls and jumps back in the sled. I scare his strange horses. They leap in the air. I frighten the whole bunch away. Now the house is all peaceful and quiet again. The stockings are safe as can be. Won't the children be glad when they wake up tomorrow and see how I guarded the tree? Fourth grade has been studying animals and fractions this year. So we're going to share a short little poem, and perhaps you'll see some animal components and some fractions components in this poem. Also, 
Since this morning, five children are absent, so I think I'm going to jump in there. The Farmer and the Queen by Shel Silverstein.